Hey, I'm Anderson Cooper. I want to help the National Cherry Blossom Festival welcome spring to our nation's capital. Enjoy. With world-class talent, the festival's opening ceremony tells the story of how the gift of trees has developed into the nation's greatest springtime celebration. The ceremony showcases traditional and contemporary performances from across the world. So many eyes are on our great city now. And as you can see, the gift of the trees 100 years ago has blossomed to something special. It's because now, thanks to the Cherry Blossom Festival, D.C. owns the spring. The festival continues to go beyond the blooms at the Tidal Basin and into our neighborhoods and now the surrounding region. The focus on youth is continually important, engaging the next generation to learn the significance of the unique gifts of nature that we all benefit from. Tree planting ceremonies have grown exponentially following the vision of 1912 to beautify the entire region, celebrate the environment, and create everlasting bonds. It takes the participation of the entire metropolitan D.C. area to put on an event of this scale. Over 50 organizations and our nation's greatest cultural institutions now offer events and programs. This year, in honor of the centennial celebration, First Lady Michelle Obama, Mrs. Fujisaki, members of the Taft and Ozaki families, and other dignitaries participated in a reenactment of the original tree planting. And I think that that, more than anything else, is the lesson that we can learn from these trees. They teach us about all that we can achieve together. Uh, and because people from both of our nations came together, this landscape was transformed and for 100 years people from every background and every walk of life have come here to experience truly the magic of these trees. Thanks to the expert crew and the great work of our men and women in the National Park Service's cherry tree crew. They worked very hard to keep these trees pruned and healthy. Let's give them a round of applause for all the great work that they do. 100 trees from the original gift are still living at the Tidal Basin. In honor of the centennial anniversary of the gift of trees, 1,000 cherry trees will be planted in the coming years by the festival. So this is one of the original trees here, right? As, as far as we know, yes. Certainly. And you can tell just by looking at it. Exactly. Anne McClellan wrote the book on DC's cherry blossoms, literally. In fact, she wrote two. This year's festival has a commemorative stamp from the United States Postal Service and artist Peter Max designed the official festival artwork. Hi, I'm Sarah Bareilles. I would like to help the National Cherry Blossom Festival welcome spring to our nation's capital. I had the honor of performing in this year's opening ceremony and I had an incredible time. So enjoy the parade and this special centennial celebration. Happy spring everyone, I'm Kelly Ripa. Welcome to the nation's greatest springtime celebration. I hope you enjoy the parade. I'm Meredith Vieira and you're watching the parade from Washington DC at the nation's greatest springtime celebration. Hello everyone, I'm John Harris, joined here by Katie Cook, Allison Starling, and Alex Trebek. And we're right here on Constitution Avenue in the heart of Washington, D.C. It is the nation's greatest springtime celebration, and this year we're celebrating the centennial of the gift of the trees from Japan to the United States. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the National Cherry Blossom Festival Parade.
another of the honorary marshals making her first appearance in the uh, Cherry Blossom Parade, Marie Osmond. Hello, Mr. Trebek. Aren't you cute, Alex? Look at him. Look at the Cherry Blossom tie. <laughs> the National Cherry Blossom Festival encourages involvement across the region and brings people together. It is truly community spirit at its best. From intimate neighborhood celebrations to huge block parties, the festival welcomes spring and encourages everyone's participation. The Sakura Matsuri Japanese Street Festival is the largest of its kind in the United States with Japanese traditional and pop culture, cuisine, shopping, and more. The Blossom Kite Festival, held on the Washington Monument grounds, attracts international master kite makers and kite flying clubs showing off their high flying skills. Family Days at the National Building Museum offers entertainment for all ages. Thousands of children participate in hands-on activities and enjoy performances. There's entertainment on outdoor stages with a lively lineup of performances along with arts and crafts activities for everyone under the blossoms. <laughs> and booming fireworks display lights up the sky. Dozens of uh, VIPs were out celebrating at the so-called Pink Tide Party this evening at the Mayflower Hotel. That's in Northwest. This year, the festival lasts all the way until April 27th, a five-week festival this year. You were there. I was there. It was a lot of fun wearing my pink. The city in bloom brings the spirit of the Tidal Basin to the region. At nightfall, buildings all over town illuminate the skyline with shades of pink. The trail of blossoms goes from store windows to taxis, and colorful banners decorate the streets. Nearly 100 area restaurants offer delicious cherry blossom and spring-inspired dishes on their menus. In 1912, no one involved in the gift could have imagined the festival that was inspired, the national treasure the trees have become, and what they mean to the world. Spring begins with the National Cherry Blossom Festival, truly the nation's greatest springtime celebration.